Yay, we're back! <laughs> That's what I do each time. Yay! Yay. I, it's because it's start off on a high note. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. it's good. Get energy, do a thing. I'm not completely exhausted, I swear to God. I really do. Welcome to our Polaris Roundtable. And uh, for our extra special Wednesday edition of Roundtable, I have with me. Hey, I'm Andrew, the Angry Honey Badger on YouTube, also a host at Curse. And of course. And I'm Chad, a host of my kitchen where I eat peanut butter. I love that show, Nailed by it. the way. That's, no one, that's, yeah. that's probably my favorite show. I watch it for hours and hours. <laughs> Thanks, on man. End. Not creepy. You don't, even, you don't even know. So this is the round table where we basically talk about what we've seen at E3 and gab about what, what made us giddy and really happy. E3 and gossip. E3 gossip. The gossip train. So guys, Dish. Uh, let's see. <laughs> what, saw, what was your favorite stuff? I liked seeing Reggie at the Nintendo booth. Uh, you just saw him in real was, life. Which is very weird to see Reggie in real life because he's yeah. just been so many things. But I have not seen Reggie before not smiling. Yeah? So that was very strange. He was basically, they had this uh, big air. So had, the whole floor pretty much is, for Nintendo is just Smash Brothers. This was like pretty much Smash. But if you win the Smash podium, you get to go up to the big stage of Smash. So it's like this weird tournament thing just to play on a bigger screen. Right. And Reggie was just there next to the, the giant couch and the big screen just like looking out over his empire just like, just like, he this, wasn't, he didn't seem mad, but he just was not stoic? happy and smiling. Was it stoic? Well, I think we're, yeah. call, we're calling it up right yeah. there from okay. the Nintendo oh, well, that's Direct. That's he's fighting Iwata, so yes, he's like. Well, but, uh, oh, God. oh God. But even though he's being kind <laughs> of cartoonish. We should have frozen on that <laughs> when he was like in there. This is still amazing that Nintendo did this, it honestly. Is, like N Nintendo's been on like a media video role. Like that Mega 64 video was awesome. It's, I feel like they kind of get it. Yeah. Even though they don't get it when they're giving everyone on YouTube copyright strikes, they like, but they still yeah. kind of get it. This is like, I, honestly though, I will say this has been the best trilling Nintendo has had at e, E3 in a long time. A very long yeah, time. Yeah, very long time. And what's so weird is like, again, it, it felt like that. On the floor for Nintendo, there's Pokemon, uh, Omega, Alpha, Ruby, Sapphire, Diamond, or whatever you call All them. All those. All those things. Yeah. Uh, there is Splatoon, which looks amazing, but has a giant line for. And then uh, Zelda Dynasty Warriors game, Hyrule Warriors, and Smash. And I think that's it on the floor. And, but I killed it. <laughs> but like that's it. But like that shouldn't be a super impressive line because there should be more than that. But for some reason it was my favorite place to hang out on the floor today. It's weird. Maybe just the power of Smash. I don't know. It it, it drew you in and you were caught in it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I guess the other would be like uh, so like went through Sony and a few other ones. For something about Nintendo, like they got it locked down this time. Cause they had like that treehouse. It's going live all the time. I haven't been on, I've been here mostly. Well, so tell me. They're doing about this weird it. thing. It's weird to say that Nintendo is Twitch streaming. That phrase yeah. sounds so like, meh. No, never will. <laughs> it's made up. They're, they're, if you haven't seen it before, like they're just continuously, uh, I guess today and yesterday after their announcements, just streaming all the time in Treehouse Live with people who don't seem that comfortable to be there, but like. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're well, not everybody can be us. We're super oh, excellent. I am never pro comfortable with anything I, I ever do. Super true. But I the fact it. that Nintendo's even doing this, and the fact, and I realized yesterday that I was watching an hour and a half of Splatoon footage, and I just could watch all of that feels in some ways better than what Sony and Microsoft are doing with their E3 stuff, where you just see a three minute trailer and that's all you get. Yeah. So they kind of keep the, I mean, they kind of keep their presentation style thing going throughout the week with this yeah. treehouse, which is, I mean, it's really cool because a lot of people, they, they see those those press conferences, they get that hype, but then there's not much to go off of until everybody's done with their journalism stuff. But if they can keep it going and they can actually get developers in to talk about this stuff throughout the week for the people who aren't at E3, this is actually a really cool concept and way to get that out there. So Yeah, I was thinking about that last night, how they like they announced uh, Pac-Man is in Smash, if you don't yeah. know that, by the way. Like, that's really cool. It's surprising they didn't put that in Nintendo Direct. Like that could have been part of their big trailer because they only unveiled uh, Palutina, is that how you say her name? From uh, Kid Icarus is the only like, character they announced during their Nintendo Direct video. Like, oh, what a, a kind of underwhelming Smash Brothers thing, but they're just spreading it out throughout the week. Like, I guess essentially to keep you talking with them during the entire news cycle. It's an very smart. It's an, inter yeah, it's an interesting strategy. I didn't think it was going to work for them, but I keep looking for the new Nintendo Which, update. Unlike their previous strategy was to keep you talking about them throughout the entire news cycle, but about disappointment and sad things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like legal things. Yeah. I, I'm still waiting for 
Like Star Fox is somewhere here. I know it must be. It's it's like upstairs yeah. somewhere. Oh, I know. I know. You have to defeat three three samurai. Yeah, I know. It's like Jeff Keighley is just hogging it the whole time or something. Like it's just someone like that <laughs> has gotten it. But the fact that like why aren't you revealing that yet? It makes me like. It's essentially making me look at the E3 Nintendo news feed for the rest of the week, hoping that they'll announce the next part of it. Yeah. So yeah. it's an interesting strategy. What else have you guys uh, seen on the floor? Um, I've had a chance actually to hang out at Activision a lot uh, today. I had some meetings with them, which, which went pretty well. Name drop. Name drop. <laughs> And uh, I'm not going to do it. Um, <laughs> but I actually got to see some looks at the new uh, Call of Duty. Um, so they got to show us some, some footage from that. It, it, looks, you know, it looks like Call of Duty. But I will say, from what I saw, the audio has drastically been improved throughout the game series, so um, it Call sounds Duty, better. But it's Call of Duty but with some future tech. Yes. Yeah, so so you go invisible a lot, from what Kevin I can tell. Spacey. And Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey. Kevin yeah. Spacey. I wonder if they put him in space, so it's Spacey. Space Kevin Spacey. Man, I'm, I'm sure someone. That. I'm some sure point, someone pitched that to him when they first there. hired him, and then, and then Kevin he got Spacey. Fired. <laughs> no, the guy was like, Mr. He pitched that to Mr. Spacey, and he just turned, and then suddenly, like, that guy's neck just started crumbling somehow, mysteriously, like invisibly, like there was just <laughs> this, Spacey like, has force just powers like, like, now. Like, like that kind of thing. Like it comes with the armor. That happened to him, and then everyone just shuddered in quiet. And he's like, now who's in space? And he throw, throws him up into. I, Kevin Spacey can write Kevin Spacey lines clearly better than I. <laughs> he gives them <laughs> notes in the. That's been my favorite thing when like in I've seen celebrity voice acting when they like give their notes on the dialogue in the game. They're like, no, nah, I think my character would say this instead. You're like, we don't. You know, we've already programmed all all these things. Like, we. We already had someone animate like this. Oh God, that was like a month of work. Oh God, like just that kind of like just gets wiped that's, away by a celebrity. That's where all those pushbacks to 2015 come in. Like we have to delay it, guys. He changed two of the lines. You say no to Kevin Spacey. Francis Underwood <laughs> said there will be hell to pay if he doesn't. I don't even know what the kind of notes that they show. I mean, I, I, I guess Call of Duty is. No one's talking about it to me as much, but I think at least them doing other anything other than. We're here in a modern war. Like I, I like them trying to vary it up. Yeah, the, I mean, but what was the other game? I, I'm gonna totally draw a blank. Was it Mo, uh, Advanced Warfighter? Uh, yeah, when modern, they tried to do the cloaking Ghost Recon, and that... Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter? Yeah, yeah. It, I feel like there's some really similar aspects coming into this game because you do the cloak thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there was double jump, but there's basically double jump yeah, in, in the well, new COD now. Packs. That, oh, by yeah, the like, way, that, that, that shield, I just instantly thought of the Mission Impossible. They're just taking all those things from like, the stealth tent that you just yeah, pull out. Yeah, just pull and it out and call it good. So yeah, so I, I got to see some of the Call of Duty. So I mean, it was. I mean, it looked all right. But once again, I've never been completely sold ever since. You know, like Modern Warfare. There'll be a cycle so. of all of these shooter games. It's gonna be. So now we're going back into future tech. What we can see in the Near future. Near future. Near tech. future tech. World War One. Wouldn't that be really cool? Even though in the trailer <laughs> for it, there definitely was just one of those like Halo scarab tanks just walking over things. A little bit. And, then they'll be like, oh, man. Metal Gear Solid. They're just yeah, bringing yeah. it right into yeah. it. And then like, OK, we're a little sick of uh, this advanced stuff a little bit. So we don't be really good. What if we could fight like an older battle? And the next thing you know, we're fighting Nazis again in World yeah. War II. It's, yeah. Well, it's funny that you mentioned World War I, because there is uh, Valiant Hearts, the Ubisoft game. And so actually, the one, like the one thing that I've been like, yesterday after all the in-studio stuff, we went and did some uh, interviews at Ubisoft. And while we were waiting in line to uh, go see The Division, uh, we were out there for probably, well, I guess maybe 15, 20 minutes, and they kept on playing the, the trailer for Valiant Hearts. Over. And so I had to see Over. that puppy cry on a grave. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I haven't seen the trailer times. for Valiant Hearts. And everyone keeps going, like, you haven't seen the trailer? Oh, yeah. man. Wait, it's like a puppy dying if or you something want happens? No, no, it's just it's, sad the whole time. It's like that Futurama it's, episode. It's Jurassic Park, where he just lays where down. It's just like, where it's like, the puppy's like, oh, God, why are you doing this? I don't know this is on the screen I right can't now. even, oh, okay, man. Okay, so I don't know anything about Valiant Hearts So basically, it, it looks like it's a, it's kind of like a, a when we're getting audio too, oh, guys, so come adorable. on. I, know, I mean, the puppy adorable. whimpers, so basically it's kind of like a, a, you know, a 2D side, like, a, I think sort of a puzzler, and basically oh, you follow different characters in World War One, and the puppy's the, the, the like, the through line through it, so oh, yeah. No, and, the and dying I don't, don't stop. Oh, don't do it. Oh, look, it's, see, it's, 
Can they make How can you Oh, he's going over the barbed wire fence. He's real scared. Can they do a version of this game that's even sadder where it's just Bubby going along and looking like wounded soldiers' faces and just making them feel better? It's probably in there. They need to do like a version, like kind of like they did Blood Dragon, except with the puppy. And so everything's super happy and over the, you know, just totally, completely the opposite. Like it's just the puppy's really awesome day. It got a bunch of belly rubs. It was fed really nice and just like that instead of the if hell and trench foot that World War One was. I'm sorry, I think they need to have like two girls one cup reaction type night. videos to just watching Valiant Hearts and just like their heart. <laughs> just oh. Compare the Valiant oh. Heart oh. Oh. It's it's like to two girls the same one cup. Just like, no, oh no, oh you're sad. Like, oh, wait, nine wait, times wait for it. Wait for it. Come to it's gonna get better. Is he? Your stories He's just hanging out with Look, friends. and then they're oh, pet. Right. No, Everybody's then, pals. Oh, God, like, there's, I feel there's a, a, a vein in, oh, in music. music. Oh, come on. I can't do it. No, no. It's <sighs> that sad. So All good. Right, so, oh, man. Here, there's either two schools of thought now currently in, in video games. You either tell the, like, story's dumb, whatever. Like, like almost like um, Sunset Overdrive, which looks amazing. It's like, yeah. whatever. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And then there's, like, what if? Every person you ever loved died. And then just like, <laughs> as you slowly just lose main characters. It's either, it's, either, it's either Game of Thrones or Slam Ball. I feel like those are the two <laughs> like, story types in video games. Did we get a release date on that? On Valiant uh, Hearts? I don't, I don't know. think they gave us one, no, unfortunately. No, uh, yeah. Oh, I can't handle. See, I can deal Not more. Um, uh, June, oh, yeah, June, real soon, wow. June 25th. Wow, okay. a couple weeks. Can't yeah. wait to see all the Let's Plays that are on all PlayStation play. 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, yeah, everything. If you have a thing that plays video Unless games, you, have you can cry. Unless it's Nintendo. I gotta say, oh, well, yeah, Ubisoft's good. doing, Sorry. like, solid, though. I know, I mean, it's they, like, Assassin's They killed it. Yeah, Assassin's Creed's always gonna pop up. Well, yeah. And things like that, but I, have you guys some... seen anything from The Division? Because that's the, probably with the thing that I'm most excited I, I need to get in that line. It is. Oh, I need to get in that line. The, the, the demo, they show this one part uh, where you're going um, to this supermarket and they, there's like, the, everybody's kind of broken up into sort of these, these like groups, clans or whatever. Yeah. And so there's this one faction of guys uh, called, uh, they basically, their thing is they have flamethrowers and they're super, no, you don't they're want that. super, they're super into like purging the city to make sure that this disease is dead and the atmosphere that it creates. And I think it's called the snowdrop engine. Like it's, the game is gorgeous. It looks so and good. It's, yeah. It looks great. If they actually keep going more into, not I'm gonna make it like Mad Max world, but more of a like, yeah, we're a flamethrower gang. That's, that kind of stuff sets aside a little bit more too than just or a squad base shooter in an empty city. Yeah. Uh, I, I could tell from the gameplay oh, trailer, so cool. looks great, <laughs> but how much of that is scripted versus like how much you can actually have that chatter with your friends, like, oh, they're on the left, get them, I'll flank them. I mean, theoretically, when we saw the, like the first part of the demo, this stuff was scripted, um, but then when we, uh, when we got into it a little bit later, it actually was, um, it what we saw people playing and they had second screen stuff that was like uh, second screen stuff where a, a person could control a drone through, Ooh, their, through their eyes. So it's even more like, like a little bit more involved than just sort of the it's battlefield the kind of thing now. where it's like, you know, you're doing, you know, like so I'm cool putting in a, an airstrike or <laughs> things like that. It's like you, you cooperate and play a little bit more than you would in, uh, you know, usual second screen kind of stuff. Okay. This wasn't fully explained to me how you can see through time yeah, in Dot Matrix. Nano machines or something. Yeah, or yeah, some yeah, magic. You probably yeah, have a special skill set that you have not been fully taught about, but someone once probably came up to you and told you you were special, and you'll find out a reason about why you're this way. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Wait for it. It's coming. I, I hadn't realized until, for some reason, this E3, based on what they showed, I realized they're going to go as much towards that The Last of Us world, where I didn't realize there was going to be like that much of a broken civilization kind of thing, and right. seeing the remnants of it. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what they do to, you know, deviate from deviate. That's the word. <laughs> yeah. From just having like. Graffiti on the wall that says this place is terrible, or like whatever you're gonna. gonna there's say. even there's even the little girl on the cover, or a younger girl yeah, on the cover at some looks point like Ellie. Ellen Page like, character shows up. Yeah. Like this this moment, for example, in uh, I actually don't even know if we're putting this on the stream, but uh, it's amazing. Yeah, like this kind of idea where yeah you all talk to each other and you have this coordinated stuff. If that's in game, and you can actually have moments like that, 
pretty cool. I think you will. I think that's what they were going for when they kind of set this all up. Mm -hmm. So it, hopefully they really hold true to what they were going for, mm -hmm. and it doesn't deviate from it. It also but. reminds me of when they first showed The Last of Us, or the first gameplay of The Last of Us. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, there's like, for some reason, this big E3, E3 moment to me where uh, you're seeing them move through this, like, a building and they're yes. trying to avoid the guys. And at one point, uh, uh, I'm completely getting the, forgetting the main guy's character's name, um, but, like, he has a gun drawn on him. Joel. And Joel, and he puts his hands up, and you hear Ellie, like, throw a brick at him. Yeah. And the, the crowd erupted because it was like this AI was helping you out and doing this kind of scripted thing yeah. on its own. And then the game didn't have as many of those type of things as they made you. Chad, maybe think. you played. Maybe you just played really well, and Ellie didn't. Ellie never to save me. You. Just Chad, going you're through. just too good. Just Don't go blame Naughty Dog. <laughs> yeah. I will not hear a bad thing about The Last of Us. That game was fantastic. No, that'll be good. And I'm can't wait for the HD version to yeah. rewatch that in. Oh, so that again. thing. That, oh, wait, no, but that thing that he uh, that he just uh, did was actually really cool. And someone with a quadcopter needs to get this. He threw out this. Um, drone sort of thing and it, it it got in front of his enemies and then like did did a uh, strobe light oh. in his face so he couldn't see so he could reposition that's pretty cool. uh, in around there uh, do, do you think game developers are just kind of tired of doing like gritty realism since it seems so many of them are going toward like we're just kind of trying to like add a couple years on so we can do something more fun and I'm just I sometimes wonder if these developers are like they all want to make crazy mass effect games and they're just <laughs> trying to push well, then They're make like, a crazy Mass Effect again. Nothing's like, stopping uh, no, we you. Need to make, like, we need to make Call of Duty again. They're like, can we at least have like, like a dog with like, <laughs> ro have, rockets on his back or something? It's a really <laughs> <last game. laughs> yeah. Yeah. interesting view of how, how a video game is. I think we should just do a video one time where we're like, Chad, tell us the stages oh, of how a video game is made. Well, we're like, uh, one guy says, I'm going to make a video game. And then he sits at his computer for two years. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah, and out comes a video game. And then his friends say, we'll help package this for you. And, Honestly, and then they test it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, and then it goes gold. Honestly, it sounds pr <laughs> sounds pretty accurate to me. Yeah. Exactly. That's all video <laughs> games are made. I'm trying to think what's on the the floor. I am really trying to find uh, a few particular indie games. I haven't found. Uh, it's called Insider, right? The people from Limbo. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Valley Hearts reminded me of that as well. Just like a trailer that makes you go, oh, oh I'm gonna be I'm gonna be emotionally moved yeah. by this. Yeah. Is that about the indie cade stuff? I think so. Didn't see it in the PlayStation no, no, area. Really? Might have been Microsoft, I think, is where it popped up. I guess that's part of the downside of when you're focusing on all these indie games. Yeah. It's hard to convey the information of like release dates, well, general bar products when they come out. Both are kind of falling all over each other in order to in order to like both big companies are falling all over each other trying to ingratiate themselves to indies. But this this looks so weird. No Man's no Sky. No Man's Sky. Yeah. It just each time they put it out, they put more out, it just looks more and more amazing. And then the inner video game cynic in me goes, There's no way it could be this, this is gonna <laughs> Yeah, it could be this good and this rewarding each time. But, I'm, yeah, but this, is, oh. this is good teasing, though. Yeah. Which, as we all know, two weeks leading up to E3, we had all these leaks, and it's like, what? You have officially just turned me off from caring about your game at E3. <laughs> oh. Well, all, pretty much. Wait, wait, like which ones were? Oh, just mostly AAA titles. Oh, okay. yeah, but then, but, this comes in. Yeah, and but it's, then, it's stuff like it's this. It's a how good this game looks. Yeah. And that, uh, I, I guess I didn't know how long the Sony uh, conference was going to go. And it was nearing the end of the first hour. And I thought, oh, they're ending here, waiting for Uncharted or something to show up. And thought, wow, they're ending with No Man's Sky? And then I guess they are, because this game is pretty cool. You yeah. can end with this in place of. Yeah. Uh, Uncharted 4 or whatever. And apparently, all the animals, all the flora is all procedurally generated. Like, it just nice. kind of happened. Yeah, I'm very interested to see how many of those you can actually change. Like, this giant rhino thing that comes through, I remember in one of the early trailers, there was some sort of giant sand dune monster that came through, and like, is there just five types of monsters? Is there like. Sand dune monsters every 1,000 level, like you know, well, planets I mean, you go to. Well, I mean, you know, games are now evolving, continuously being added on types of things. So, I, I could be as long as they give you enough to tide you over until more stuff. Yeah, comes, or comes you know, uh, if they want to embrace the the Valve model and let the community start contributing different things, like I, kind of spore. I where thought you, you were going to say embrace the Valve model and never put anything. And never put anything on Valve. <laughs> I mean, more like, okay, cool, so I have this idea for a cool alien monster, and yeah. I'm going to submit it to the Steam community, and now it's on every 200th planet. It gets approval, yeah. That'd be pretty that sweet. Be, that would be actually pretty sweet if they did do something. Just throwing like ideas that. out there. Yeah, well, hey, 
So hopefully someone's taking <laughs> Somebody's that watching right someone now. That's, watching. What, that's what this live stream was about. That's us pitching we're, game ideas? We're, we're passively, aggressively pitching game ideas, and uh, then hopefully someone's going to gonna make them. What else am I trying to see? I am trying to see uh, Sunset Overdrive. Yes. Yes. Uh, have you guys seen that on the floor? It must be around I, somewhere, right? I haven't been much on the floor. I, so I know, saw just, where it may or may not be, but I forgot. Okay, that I'm sounds not, like I'm that helpful. sounds like you me a riddle. Like, it's on the floor between two glowing white things, there. and a man that doesn't see Would it but be at, sees it, all. It probably it was probably at the Microsoft booth, I imagine, since it's a Microsoft. Yeah, exclusive. is it Microsoft exclusive? I think that's where I saw it. Yes. Dang it! They okay, have a lot. Of, yeah. They have they have a they have a lot of units set up too, and they actually have a lot of games surprisingly set up over at the uh, Microsoft booth. Well, they did, and say they have a Lamborghini too. Why have they got a Lamborghini? Lamborghini? God, Forza. It's for Forza. Forza. Uh, so they didn't put that in there. I thought they were going to put it in their conference uh, this week, this a year. Lamborghini? Oh, they brought a car in like last year. So I was like, yeah, they'll bring in like Joel McHale again or yeah, Aaron Paul like or someone's going to show up. And then he's going to be driving a car. He's going to tell you about Need for Speed and also Forza. Feel the, the real same power time. in the game like this car. I'm like, that's not quite the same, dude. What, uh, uh, have you guys seen any that. like. E3 is pretty great, but every once in a while I see stuff like eye rolly. Like I. Uh, Walked by some sort of like tote bag store that had a DJ on the floor today. Okay. Like, I'm just wondering if you guys have seen anything else that's a little bit what the not cringy. Are you just reacting to Sunset Overdrive? Yeah, I haven't seen much about it. Oh, yet. dude, Sunset oh, really? Overdrive. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't actually Super got stoked. to see too much about it. I, I still can't tell. It looks. It's like. Uh, it's like. It reminds me of Jack Grind Future when he's yeah a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's just what they, they, Future, yeah. they say that in the thing that which is like, awesome because I yeah. love that game. I, Totally huge fan back in the day, and then it reminds me of where you know, like uh, the ridiculousness of you know. It's the Sly Cooper, Sly Cooper develops, right? Yeah. Of where uh, Saints Row would take, you know, take hold. It reminds me of a like take those two games, shove them together. Yeah, and I can't tell from this. I get the impression that it's an actual level you progress through, but I don't think it's just like arena areas you play. In, I think. Oh really? I'm not sure. Like you I, think you well, come up to that, and then it kind of arenas you off. Well, you off. From I got that, a, like, I got a slight. Thing. Like for a reason, I got a slight like DMC vibe where you're kind of just going through. Well, that's just sort of uh, also the character like is you know we're in, this is the E3 of the, the yeah. cocky the cocky punk rock white guy. Yeah, this guy's bringing on. Uh, well, he's not as bad as uh, Scalebound. Oh yeah, Scalebound Scal with his Dre beats. Everyone everyone rags on. Dante from DMC for just being overly aggressive. Honestly, not that bad. Also a oh, solid yeah. game. Yeah. But Scalebound was a little bit more of like, just like, I don't know, like, yeah, just hanging out. Like, he should have skateboarded onto that dinosaur. Yeah, the dinosaur or dragon? Oh, I mean, sorry, dragon. Sorry. Dinosaurs and dragons are the same to me because I don't believe in dinosaurs. Oh, wow. <laughs> Getting alligators. into deep theological <laughs> stuff here. I don't think dinosaurs existed. <laughs> Tell us about evolution. Well, dinosaurs are real cool, but they're not real. That's about all I know. Uh, but dragon. But if uh, if this does that kind of model where you can just kind of go through a progressive level and they're just setting up for all these traps to play around with, that's great. Yeah, it looks really. It looks like it'd be like crazy fun. Whoa. Intense. Keep it nonstop action in your face stuff. Also, more games that are just colorful. <laughs> like yeah. I, yeah, we went through that phase of uh, gray and green. Yeah, and, and I still see them every once in a while, and it's even like. The divisions now it's like blues. Yeah, I feel like it's, now it's just like yeah, a little blue, yeah, bluish gray. Bluish gray is yeah. still kind of like harsh. Can't get away from those chest high walls either. No, no. chest high walls. Everything's I guess convenient. the division wouldn't work if it was had the same color scheme as Sunset Overdrive. We're just like broken down New York with just balloons and yeah, like way too happy paint. the whole time. Everybody's dying. You're yeah, like, like, oh, yeah. who cares if it's the end of the world? There's no traffic anymore. This is great. I'm having a great time. All right, real quick then, let's just do one thing. What's the one thing that you're gonna you're gonna take a look? You need to get your hands on, take a look at, look up closer at E3 Ooh. before it ends, which is tomorrow. So one thing I haven't had a chance to look at yet, and I've heard mixed reviews on, so I want to go look at it myself. Is actually the Evil Within. Oh yeah. Because. I I, I, I want it to be more than what I've heard. I hear it's just gory and in your face, and, and that's the scary part. I hope there's a little bit more to it than just that, because I think it could be brilliant if it's more than just that. So hopefully I'll get hands on that tomorrow. I've, I've actually played a, a bit of it, so I can, I can tell, you, tell you more about it okay. later if you oh. want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, other than trying to find the lost copy of Star Fox 64, uh, what's uh, Van Helsing's squad game for the PlayStation called? The Order? The Order. Yeah. Yeah, Good. I want to I play The Order and see if, because uh, what they showed at E3 this week was a really cool bunch of quick time cinematics and not a lot of actual gameplay. Like, right. so more, I think actually there was 30 seconds where they actually controlled the character. I want to see if there's some playable more. stuff where there's more of that. Well, they did push it. That. True. So maybe and they're holding it close to there. 
And I want to see The Last Guardian. Do I, I, uh, I'm dude. kidding. I'm trolling. Uh, I actually want to see Rainbow Six. It's actually really hard to get into. They're like, sorry, we're all booked up. And I was like, tell me about that. I'm supposed to know <laughs> this stuff. <laughs> tell me about the Rainbow Six. I really loved you all gotta the Rainbow You got to come into the windows sixes. on uh, I know. We, we yeah. should. We, yeah. that, they couldn't be mad if we figured out a way to infiltrate. We're just like, we're, we're just learning from, from the game. Yeah. Doing that. And that's what, that's what it's all about, guys. Learning from games. <laughs> How to, how, yeah, to infiltrate. how to infiltrate, Ethan, 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 take over for games. <laughs> so uh, why don't we just go around the horn? Um, you know, re re say goodbye. Let let people know who you are and uh, yeah, sign out. Uh, I'll I'll go first because no one. Not important. Um, Chad, oh. you can see me here on Plara stuff. Uh, look for me on the show floor tomorrow. I would love to talk to people about games and how Sonic is actually a viable choice in Smash Brothers now. <laughs> That's a lie. But yes, anyways. <laughs> I'm uh, Andrew, Angry Honey Badger on YouTube. Yeah, if you see me, say hi. <laughs> it's a command. And I'm Matt Danovic. I've, I am here all week. I've been here all week. I'll be on the show floor uh, tomorrow, finally. Yeah. Um, so thanks, guys, for, for tuning in uh, to our roundtable and our live stream. Be sure to check out all our stuff on uh, YouTube forward slash Polaris. We have a crazy amount of interviews coming in right there, trailers, all that sort of stuff. And we'll be uh, starting bright and early tomorrow morning, so be sure to check that out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Later. Bye.